Hey friends, Billy from LM Cases here, and today we are going to take a look at our dual source temporary site power case. Uh, so this is a unique system designed specifically for the athletic market, though you may be able to find uses for it in other markets for those of you watching. Uh, so this is designed to provide 15 outlet banks um, for a variety of applications. Um, the case is designed to have two power sources, both from a cable reel and a generator, uh, allowing it to work off of a traditional 15 amp plug, or if one is not available, you can use the generator. So before we get into that, let's take a look at this panel. So this is what we are calling the LM Tor Systems DS1 panel, and this can be configured however you would like. Let's start at the top here. So the way that this works is it is designed to take two power sources and distribute it in 15 outlets. Uh, so you can't use both power sources at the same time. It is one or the other. And we have this special switch here at the top that allows it to not backfeed. So starting at the top here, you can see that there is a little green light illuminated right here. That's showing that voltage is present on the wired side. And on the generator side, there is a red LED that uh, is not illuminated because the generator is not on. So right now, the rocker switch is in its middle position, which is off, and if we want to turn the panel on, we just have to put it to the right. And that brings us up three banks of power. Now these banks are the same at the top. Uh, they feature a heavy-duty hydraulic 15 amp breaker that when it trips, it shows a white section right there. And the reason why we have this split up with individual breakers over each bank is that I, we do realize that 15 amps is not a lot of power, especially when we're looking at 15 outlets available. Um, so we do need a way to isolate these into individual channels, if you will, or groups as we call them. And if you're overdrawing on one group, you can pop a breaker locally and not affect the rest of the panel. So this is a 12 rack space panel. It is configured with, again, 15 Decora punches, and that allows you um, more of a generic format so that you can load the outlets in whatever you want. So as an example, uh, in group C here, we're showing most of the outlets that LM currently offers. So this is a dual USB-C with two standard AC outlets. Uh, this is the most popular one that we use here. This is two um, regular AC outlets with a USB-A and a USB-C. This is a fourplex USB-A. Unfortunately, at the time of filming, a USB-C in a fourplex format is not available. Or you can get a dual USB-A. The bottom outlets are just regular 20 amp heavy duty Leviton outlets. And the very bottom jack here is what's called a Neutric True One connector. So those of you in the entertainment industry watching this are probably very familiar with that particular connector, but those of you not, this is a locking heavy duty 20 amp rated waterproof connection point. Um, this is designed to be locking uh, you can also disconnect it under load. So the idea here is when you wheel this particular system into, say, a locker room or a sideline that only has standard wall outlets available, this gives you a place to plug in phones, tablets, any electrical item. Uh, what we've heard from customers is that even in 2025, there are not a lot of power outlets available in locker rooms, uh, especially if you're the guest team. Uh, and there also are not a lot of outlets available on the sideline. And the outlets that are available are often always full. So this allows you to make um, use of one singular outlet and lets it split it up into additional output sources. So uh, going back to our true one jacks, every group here has a true one jack on the bottom and we have a variety of cables that will allow you to interface with these. 
Uh, so the first cable that we're going to take a look at is just an adapter cable. Uh, this adapter cable will allow you to make this outlet just a regular standard Edison outlet that we're all familiar with. So if you'd like to do that, you can. And LM has a variety of different outlets available. So this is what we like to call our configurable pendant. The pendant can use any of the same Decora outlets that, we sh that we've shown on the panel. So this one is a USB A and C with Edison's. And then it also has this door that protects it. And this is a heavy duty ruggedized enclosure. Now, this is something that you can buy from lmcasesonline.com. Uh, the example cable that we're showing has a regular Edison outlet on it, or um, has a regular male Edison uh, connector on it. But you can also get this configured with a True One outlet on this product's page. If you want to check that out, there is a link in the description. The other multi-outlet cable that you can use is what we call our fourplex cable. Uh, this is four outlets available on the end of an extension cable with, again, a standard what we call Edison, standard AC outlet. You can also get this configured as a true one. But if you don't want to make it too custom with your true one cables, you can go back and use our regular adapter cable that we talked about at the beginning. Uh, the other thing that True One allows you to do in that format is use a link cable. Uh, so there is a male and a female end um, that can link other systems together. So you can use this as a segmented extension cord. And what that, the benefit of doing that is instead of, say, making a 100-foot cable when you only need 100 feet every once in a while, you can make four uh, extension cables that all link together. And the connectors are waterproof. They have an O-ring on each of the connectors. So once they are connected, you can put them in the wet grass and not have to worry about that. That's certainly a benefit of using that True One format than, say, a regular AC outlet that we're all familiar with. Water can get into here and touch these prongs, which is not the best thing. So the idea with the True One outlets are if this particular system it needs to be located far away, say you're using the generator aspect of it, you can use the True One linkable cables to um, make, it, uh, make your longer run. So if you have a regular, say, Edison plug plugged into these outlets like we're all used to, a long run is certainly easier to trip over, so if somebody can, uh, can knock it out. But if you use the locking version, you don't have to worry about that. So speaking of the power sources for this, the standard option that this case has is a 125 feet 12 gauge ruggedized SO cable. Uh, this is mounted on a custom built live Hene reel. So what, what I mean by live is that once you plug this in, it is energized all the time. And if you need to take more length of cable out, you don't have to unplug the cable from the wall. There's a little slip ring in there. This stays electrified all the time. So, the standard option here is 125 feet of cable loaded on this reel. You can see that with 125 feet on here, uh, you do have a lot of real estate left. So if you did want to go up more, you can do up to 250 feet on this reel. So this is our first power source, what we're calling our wired source. Now our generator is a 2200 watt Westinghouse generator. This is capable of delivering 18 amps of power. Um, it is mounted on a marine grade plastic shelf that is mounted via heavy duty Accuride glides. The exhaust portion of the generator um, faces out. So when this is running, you can use it extended from the case on its little shelf like this and exhaust gases aren't building up in the case. So speaking of the case, this is 32 inches wide, left to right, 30 inches front to back. Uh, so it is truck pack in one dimension and as close as we can get it in truck pack on the other dimension. So this is designed for buses um, and, and certain packs like that. We do have half inch marine grade plastic runners on the side so that um, E-Track or anything like that doesn't interfere with the sides of the cases. Um, the, this case or any other, these are heavy-duty, deep-recessed Penelcom handles. So 
the lids for this particular case store inside of it. And the reason why we didn't do, say, a pocket door lid and we chose to do removable lids is for two reasons. One, it keeps the OD, the left to right, outer dimensions of the case to the minimum. Uh, if we did it with pocket doors, you would probably up, be up to 36 inches or so, and now we can get this down to 32. The other thing that it provides you is you can pull this out just a little bit, and it's a table. So if you need to charge your phones or anything like that, you can have a little table to, to plug your stuff in. Uh, the lids are separated by a divider. They operate independently of each other, so if you want to have a lid on the front and not the back, you can. Um, and you also don't have to worry about them uh, being difficult to remove. Uh, the case is mounted on six inch field casters. Uh, we colloquially call them here at LM donut casters. Uh, they, are all, they all feature a brake so that when you lock this in place, it stays very firmly uh, mounted in place. So as with most things at LM, uh, we are happy to modify and customize. If you'd like a little bit more output as far as amperage goes, uh, we can bring whatever input voltage or uh, input amperage that you want. So if 15 is not enough and you'd like to go to 20 or 30 or even higher than that, we can certainly accommodate that. Everything we build at LM is built custom per order. So if you have any questions about this or anything else we make, you can email me direct, billy at lmcases.com. If you'd like to purchase this case as is, you can buy it from our web store, which is lmcasesonline.com. And if you'd like to see the daily goings on here of LM, check us out on Instagram. We are lm underscore cases. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great day.